Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We are the RC Sailors. Today we are out at our local airfield with our Mitchell plane. B-25. <laughs> this little guy has so much attention to detail, it's insane. At the end of the video here, I'll get some close shots just so you can see the scalability. And if uh, you missed our unboxing and very quick build, uh, it even has a steering front wheel which is crazy yeah. and the battery goes right there in that hatch it's so there are just awesome. so many cool things about this it is four channel ready to fly and uh, we're out here with very little wind i'm excited to get this in the air before it does get windy so let's see how it flies on a nice full charge charged by the transmitter you ready let's go Sorry guys, I'm trying to get the coloring right for you. <laughs> the sky is just really white right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that full flight of this very cool scale uh, Playing that uh, the Mitchell, I, at first it was a little touchy on the controls, yeah. and Abby was having a hard time. What you were like, it. shoo, 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 and over my head. And well, uh. <laughs> But when I say touchy, I don't mean that in a bad way because for a plane this size and this scale, to have actual control over the plane is really nice. Not once did I ever struggle with controls, they're just slightly touchy until I learned how to fly it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You're fast. All of the throws are variable in the servos, the ailerons, elevator, and rudder, and your throttle is variable, and no, this does not have one motor speed up more than the other in order to help it turn. It actually is a four channel plane has ailerons. with ailerons and two motors that do not change with, they don't change with those rudders. At least If they are, I can't tell. That might just be my thumb giving it more or less throttle when it's changing. So it's not noticeable. At least. It's not noticeable. If they do it, it's only in benefit, but it is an actual four channel plane. I did uh, loops. I'm assuming you could probably see at least a couple of them. I did some actual loops That's with it. That's all you did, like the whole time was up and down and up. 
and uh, at the beginning I was I didn't know how long I could get it to fly so I was trying to do as many uh, moves as I could I did get it to do barrel rolls they're fairly slow and you want to start climbing into the roll because it's going to come down even if you give it uh, down nose to try to stay up it's going to come down some because it's not made to fly inverted at all uh, but it can do barrel rolls they're really really sloppy and i got a very short inverted flight i don't know if she got it on camera but it's not meant to do that i tried to do a couple hammerheads but there's not Mine's enough to fly scale yeah So she's right. It's meant to fly scale with a lot of control and I had just that. Never once did I panic and lose control or I anything panicked. along those lines. <laughs> uh, I, I felt like I had total control over it. It felt good flying it. This thing just looks amazing on a shelf. You know what, if I bought this uh, just as a scale plane, it, it knocks it out of the park. It has so much attention to detail that it just looks like a great plane to sit out on display. And then, hey, there's an added bonus. It's a full functioning four channel RC plane. That's amazing. I know you can get it in the ready to fly in the bind and fly version. You can uh, charge it directly from your transmitter and it's so small that this is gonna fit in any vehicle and whatever collection you're flying right now, when you add this to your collection, it's not gonna knock another one out of that collection. You can add something like this to whatever arsenal you're flying and not have to bump another one out because of the size. I didn't think it'd fly so well because it looks so good. Usually you gotta trade off one or the other. It looks amazing and it flies really well for such a small plane. That's just a lot of fun.
I give it two huge thumbs up. The range was awesome too. I never had any range issues on the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter that's included. But by the way, as a tactic, TTX 403 transmitter, this is the first time we've had this tactic transmitter on our channel. And the plane comes with all the batteries you need. That's right. For the transmitter. It did a great job. And the plane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super, super fast to assemble too. Probably took me all of maybe 10 minutes. Um, so if you want to see all the stuff that comes in the box, which is basically right here, we did do an unboxing of this. I'll have it linked in the description box or a card or something here for you. And if you wanna check this out for yourself, it's linked in the description box below as well. If you like scale planes and uh, RC planes at that, then this is right up your alley. I, I put this at maybe like a uh, second or third plane for somebody. Maybe not someone's first. Darn. Yeah, maybe not a first. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye.